All right, thanks, Ryan. Well, all this week, we've been running a three-part series on the Naval Support Activity Panama City. The base is host to both the Naval Surface Warfare Center, Panama City Division, and the Navy Experimental Dive Unit. Monday, we took a look at some of the most advanced aircraft in the facility. Tuesday, we took a look onto its dive school. Today, I'm joined with Warfare Center's Jackie Barker. Jackie, first of all, thank you. You helped set up all of those interviews for me, gave me an inside look into the base. It's so interesting because not a lot of civilians know what goes on behind the base. How, how much do you think the average resident knows? Um, I think the average resident who's lived here in Bay County predominantly most of their life um, has a good understanding or appreciation for the mine countermeasure, mine warfare mission uh, that has been here since 1945. Mm -hmm. So next year we celebrate 70 years in Bay County, which is a milestone, a huge accomplishment. We're really thankful for that. Um, I, I think it's just a wonderful surprise every time people come on board and they find something new. Uh, this is the only dive school in the entire yes. Department of Defense. Um, we have the Raymond Craft Air Cushion vehicle, the LCATs. You know, not a lot of people think that we would be working on Marine Corps uh, or supporting Marine Corps systems, and, and we do that. What do you think is the most surprising aspect? The most surprising, I think, is the fact, well, there's so many. There are. I mean, when I first came here, I was shocked. Uh, this is really the gem, I think, of the Navy. It's the best kept secret in the Navy. Mm -hmm. um, I think most people are surprised when they come here to learn about the fact that this is, uh, at least at the Naval Surface Warfare Center, a research development test and evaluation facility. So we have over, just at our Technical Center of Excellence alone, we have over 1,300 employees, of which over 880 uh, are scientists and engineers. And of course, conceivably in Bay County, you could graduate from a four-year college here and uh, get your master's degree and they come work for us. So that's a good surprise too. And you mentioned this before, but talk to me a little bit about the dive school. I mean, it's, it's a huge attraction here at the Department of Defense's only dive school. That's right. And so they also train interagency and uh, some foreign nationals. So um, it's, it's a fascinating thing. Years ago, there used to be multiple dive schools in the fleet, and now there's only one, uh, as, as you touch mm -hmm. on in your segment. And so when you're driving along Thomas Drive and you see uh, the sailors and they're running outside and screaming, hoo-yah, um, it's, it's a very huge injection of uh, adrenaline, I think, and American pride. But what we don't realize is these sailors are going out to do amazing things in the fleet. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much, Jackie, for joining You're us this welcome. morning. Thank you for helping me create this three-part series as well. Oh, anytime. Oh, well, thank you. I'll take you up on that offer. Tonight on News Channel 7 at 10 o'clock, we'll take a deeper look at the economic impact. You'll also see some of the family services that support all military members there at NFACC. Well, the 9-11 Memorial...